Just like material handling, where you want to touch the material as few times as possible, let's check and validate our documents so they don't have to be reviewed more times than needed. To do this, I'm going to show you several simple examples that I've implemented with users on checking and validating data through the use of workflow conditions. In this first example, we can see the all too familiar conditions for transition were not met. In this case, we're checking to make sure the description field isn't empty. We do this by using the text not equal to comparison with a blank value. This transition will now only allow documents that don't have a blank value to pass through. In our next example, we're still getting the conditions for transition were not met. That's because we're going to check that this EC request is fully filled out before it can go to the safety engineer. To do that, we're going to make sure that the safety approval checkbox is selected where a 1 value indicates it is selected and a 0 value means it is not selected, and that the safety engineer is assigned. Otherwise, this document can't be sent for safety approval. We certainly wouldn't want to send a safety approval out without an engineer selected. In our last example, I'm going to check for the file extension and then automatically change the state for all EC supporting documents that get dropped into its folder. My EC document is an XML file, so we'll check for all other file types where the file extension does not equal .xml. All of this is set up by going to the Conditions tab in a workflow transition. Here you can select different variables that exist on data cards to check and validate their values. Comparison settings are based on the variable types of text, number, or date, where comparison operators such as equal to, contains, does not contain, greater than or less than, and many more can be used, so pay attention to what you're selecting. I also use the file path option to check for folder locations or file extensions in many, many instances. Now by default, when you define multiple conditions, they are checked as AND statements. You can make them OR statements by first selecting the OR option and then adding your conditions underneath it. And this has been TPM's 3-Minute Thursday. We hope to see you next time.